more time For those who hold me down If you didn't know me then, bet you know me now Tell my parents that I rap, they like holy cow They ain't so poor first, but now they all so proud Uh, yeah, they all so proud Accomplishing my goals, then no cap and gown Always got a smile, never see me with a fan And I never sell that as a promise and a vow Hey, and I did it on my own time Never had a helping hand, nobody co-signed Almost every rapper talk about how they so fly But that's what sales and I don't even know why God tell me when all the passion die God tell me is it worth the sacrifice God tell me is there an afterlife And tell me why these hoes blowing up, who ain't half as nice Hey, that sounded egotistic But everybody is a little narcissistic All I'm saying, baby, is check the statistics Numbers don't lie and life is a privilege well, is an archipelago located 50 kilometers off the northern coast of Australia. The island is home to a diverse ecosystem with around 900 plant species and 330 vertebrate groups, including 12 endangered species. In charge of helping protect this fragile habitat is Aussie, a Manchester Terrier. His job is to keep the cane toad at bay, a poisonous pest that would threaten this whole ecosystem. He is one of only three dogs in the world trained specifically to seek out live cane toads. Aussie's employer, the Anindil Yakwa Land Council, first sought him out in the hope of harnessing his impressive hunting instinct. But if we have time... Groot Island is probably one of the most significant places in the whole of the Northern Territory. We have very few introduced feral animals or invasive weeds, so we have one of the most unique environments anywhere in the Northern Territory. If cane toads were to get onto Groot Island, we would lose many of the threatened species which we have in abundance on the island. Gary Jackson, who runs the dog training company Multinational K9 in Queensland, is responsible for Aussie's training. Come on, little fella. Up we go. Aussie's been trained to detect um, cane toads. We don't want him to detect just the odour where the cane toad's been. We want him to actually find the live cane toad that are based in shipping containers that come over to Groot Island. Now, what we're going to do is just going to set up a basic um, search um, down here. But I've walked up here several times before, so my odour's all over the place. Then we're going to place a cane toad in the area there and just see if he can um, pick it up and start scratching. It 
it is vital that Ozzy stays on a lead. If he was to chew a cane toad, its poison could be enough to kill him.